Hello, writers, and welcome to another week of writing. I've been so proud of the writing that I've been seeing, um, the pictures you sent in, so keep up the great work. I can't wait to see what you do this week. So for our book of the week, it is Painting the House by Mary Linden and illustrated by Suzanne Beakey. Please feel free to read along with me as Mr. Brewer is reading through the pages. Pablo and Frida had a house. Let's paint our house, Frida said. Pablo and Frida had some paint. We can use this paint, Pablo said. Pablo and Frida had some brushes. We can use these brushes, Frida said. Pablo and Frida had some ladders. Pablo said, we can use these ladders. Pablo and Frida painted their house. Pablo and Frida had a cat. They had a dog too. Pablo and Frida had a mess. Awesome scholars, I hope you enjoyed that short book. Our focus phrase of the week, so first my turn, then your turn. I use nouns to show a person, place, or thing. Your turn. Let's go over what is a noun. Remember, a noun is a person, a place, or a thing. So when we say a person, that could be Miss Ribeiro or Miss Rasul or Miss Cheney or Miss Cavill. A place could be Uplift Wisdom. It could be the park or the pool. And a thing could be any type of thing. It could be a toy. It could be a plate. It could be, um, you know, something that you see outside as well. So that's all what we call nouns. So I want us to look at this first sentence together, and I want you to think about what you notice about this sentence. Following along with me, here we go. Pablo and Frida had a house. I want you to take about five seconds to think about what do you notice about this sentence that's from the book. You five. Oh, so I notice that our sentence ends with punctuation, like every complete sentence, it ends with a period. Very good. What else do you notice? Oh, I see that there's two names. We have Pablo and Frida. Do you notice that the author put a capital letter for both Pablo and Frida? Why did they put a capital letter for both those words? Ah, uh, because they are a name, and remember, we capitalize names. Very good. What else do you notice? I see some sight words. We have and and a. I also notice there's six words in our sentence. I finally notice that there's also a noun right here, the house, because the house is a place, or it could even be a thing. So we have three nouns in this sentence. We have Pablo, Frida, house. Remember, Pablo and Frida are both a person and the house is a place. So those are three nouns of our sentence. Now I'm gonna show you a second sentence and I want you to compare what you notice that might be the same or a little bit different between the two sentences. We can use this paint, Pablo said. Hmm. So what do you notice about this new sentence? Well, I notice that they both have a period but some new punctuation that we see is this comma. So remember when we see a comma, the author's telling us to take a breath. So there's an extra comma in this sentence. I see that both sentences have Pablo in it, which is a noun because it's a person and they also capitalized it. Something different I notice is that there's these little commas in the air, like reverse commas. We call them quotation marks. Quotation marks. Quotation marks authors use when somebody is talking. So who's talking in this sentence? We can use this paint, Pablo said. Pablo is talking. So the author puts in quotation marks to show the reader who is speaking during this time. I also noticed that in the first sentence, one of our nouns was house, but now our noun is Paint, because remember, paint is a thing, so that's a noun, because nouns are a person, a place, or a thing, and paint is a thing. Very good. I noticed that there are seven words in this sentence, so that's a little bit different. 
I also notice that it has the same setting, right? So both of these sentences are taking place in the house with Pablo and Frida. Very good scholars. Now I'd like to move on. Let's repeat our focus phrase. I use nouns to show a person, place, or thing. So this is our time to write sentences together. So Mr. Barrow has selected three different nouns that we're gonna make sentences with. So our first noun is school. Would you say school is a person, place, or thing? Very good, it's a place. So I want you to think about a sentence you can make with the word school. Oh, those sound like good sentences. Here's Mr. Barrows. I love to go to school with my friends. Go ahead and pause right here if you wanna copy Mr. Barrow's sentence that we created together, or you can write your own sentence using the noun school. Our next noun, sonic. Very good, you know, sonic is so fast and cool. Remember, we also capitalize sonic because sonic is a person, place, or thing a person and it's his name so we always capitalize sonic i want you to think of a sentence that you can make with the word sonic i want you to either write that down or you can use the sentence that we create with miss ribero the sentence that i created sonic runs fast through the city you can pause right here so you can write down our sentence or your own sentence have you been noticing Mr. Barrow has been putting more details into her sentences to tell the, re the reader, yes, Sonic runs fast, but where does Sonic run fast? Through the city. So remember, good writers always add more details to let the reader know and visualize a little bit more about their story. Our last now, cookies. Can you think of a sentence you can make with cookies? They sound very good. Make sure you write those down. Would be cookies be a person, place, or thing? Yes, they'd be a thing because it's food, right? Food is a thing. Very good. My sentence is, my favorite cookies have chocolate and sprinkles. So go ahead and pause right here again if you want to use the sentence we made with Mr. Barrow, or I can't wait to see the other ones you've made with these different nouns. Great job. And if you notice, we always have complete sentences, making sure there's a subject and a verb, and we always start our sentence with a capital letter and end it with some punctuation. Very good. Final friends, it is time for you to write your very own sentences. So I want you to pick about, uh, write about some nouns. So I want you to pick a person, a place, or a thing that you like, and I want you to write sentences about those nouns. Remember, we always write with complete sentences, and as writers, we're working on adding more detail to describe what we're thinking. Make sure you put spaces between each word as well. I encourage you to use some sight words because you know how to spell those and sound out other words that you might not know how exactly to spell them, but that is okay because you are trying your best. Please take a picture of all the writing that you do this week, the ones that we created with Mr. Barrow and the ones that you've done on your own. My Kinder Journal is a great spot to write this down. Take a picture and send it to us so we can celebrate you um, and just compliment your writing because we are so proud of you scholars. Let's end our writing lesson by saying our focus phrase together. I use nouns to show a person, place, or thing. I use nouns to show a person, place, or thing. I can't wait to see the nouns that you've picked. Great job writers and I'll see you next week. Bye.